I'm Scott Chamberlain, I work at the ANU School of Law, about to be appointed inaugural entrepreneurial fellow of the Law School. The kind of project that I run is what I call Lex Auto Magica, which is uh, the tech stack that will automate our legal processes and run our society like clockwork. And so that's the, that's the, top, that's the topic of my research, it's, it's the topic of the two new courses that, we've, that I've had approved as part of the Masters program at the School of Law. Law's not complicated at a, at a certain level, right? It deals with who are the, who are the legal identities that, that the law recognises, what are the legal things that the law recognises existing, what's the relationship between people and the things, and, and there's a dispute resolution at the heart of it. When you look at the blockchain smart contract space, there's, there's projects doing all of those things. There are identity projects, there are tokenisation projects, there are smart contract projects, and there are dispute resolution projects. What we're doing is saying all of this can be brought together um, in order to um, make an enormous number of problems go away. The significant um, thing that blockchain potentially provides in our space is that capacity to circumvent middlemen and to, to decrease the power of gatekeepers. So law is, law is full of middlemen and gatekeepers, all of whom uh, have positions of power and are increasingly wealthy. If we can make it work, we, we get this fantastic system that you can plug into. You know, contracting already is decentralised, right? You can, you can go out and contract with whoever you want and you, you've got a document and you don't need anyone's approval to do it. The dispute resolution process, the court system though, is a little bit problematic. So if we can, we'd have decentralised platforms that, um, that automate all of that, uh, that, that, that's really exciting. There's lots of cases where you can't help the client because you're too expensive for the client, for the problem the client has. Um, you can't solve it for them at the price point they need. So it's about differentiating types of legal problems and providing you with a solution that's appropriate for the scale of your problem. eBay is a, a platform for buying and selling goods of low value globally. It's got um, uh, consistent and reasonably fair terms and conditions that everyone signs on to is between buyer and seller. Um, it's got an automated dispute resolution system in the middle of it that settled you know, as much as 60 million disputes globally in 2014, so it's an enormous scale. Um, and it's got a, a piece of insurance that protects you against fraud if at the end of the day you know, you, you've had a really bad experience. If you had to use your local court system in order to resolve disputes on the eBay platform, um, you'd, you'd stop using it. it would just, your trust in the system would dwindle away. And so what we're imagining is imagine eBay but without eBay in the middle of it. If that was how you bought and sold all of your consumer goods from all of your consumer retailers, then I've got a, a dispute resolution system that works really well, that, that isn't as clunky as the court system, I've got a piece of insurance that's automated and protects me against fraud, and now I don't need enormous chunks of my consumer law.